But that which lusts after us is going to become exceedingly aggressive. As we repeatedly reject it. Sometimes individuals cannot see. I'm oh, sorry. Sometimes individuals can see more about us than what we see about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. This includes the enemy. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we be like, I don't know what she's seeing him. I don't know what he's seeing her. Right. They see something that you don't see. Yeah. This can be a good thing right. or a bad thing. Yeah. This could be an advantage that plays either way. Amen. The bottom line is the aim of the enemy or the enmity is perversion. His bottom line is to pervert. Amen. Now notice I said the enemy or the enmity. Amen. Joseph understands his position and values being trusted. He understands the limits of his greatness and influence in his current situation. The level of greatness was for that time. He was great in Potiphar's house. That level of greatness was for that time. He was not to exceed that level of greatness. Because if he was going to try and exceed that level of of greatness, he would have perverted it. Because the only thing that was held from him was that wife. Amen. We cannot be greater than the time which is permissible. Everlasting will not manifest until everlasting's time comes. Because God is everlasting. Amen. And he's going to bring us into eternal life. What he did when we were born was snatched us out of eternity and put us into time. We must have consistency to resist yielding to temptation, which results in sin. This is something that has to be consistent. That one time that you did it is not going to be enough. Uh Because that same thing is going to come at you again and again and again and again. And it's going to get more aggressive and more aggressive and more aggressive. Look, Joseph is a single man at this time. Don't don't y'all act like this is crazy, like he wasn't a human being. And this woman is being aggressive towards him? Man, please. You a single young man and this established woman. Now, come on. I'm sorry. Can I step here real quick and I'm going to get out of it? Come on now. Y'all know when we was young, we had that one older lady that was like, ooh, wee. Hey, Miss Johnson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was Friday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Johnson. Joseph had that same thing. I have no doubt in my mind that Joseph did not find that woman attractive. I don't. That, look, we need to stop acting like people ain't, ain't attractive. There's some good looking folk. There's some beautiful women. There's some nice looking men. And you can't lie and be like, oh, I ain't attracted to them. Or in that regard, they're not attractive. You don't have to be attracted to them because they're attractive. Amen. But you can't lie and say they ain't attractive. What's his name, boys? Kojo, whatever hell you. See, get, get out, 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 get out. <laughs> but don't say or whatever their names is, whatever the foul one is now. Let people be all gobbledy over whatever hell you. That don't mean that you got to go for, oh, yeah, she's good looking. I ain't going to lie and say the girl ain't good looking. She good looking. I'm not attracted to her. I don't, have to, I don't have to be like, ooh, if I could just get the opportunity. I used to say I was going to get famous just to date uh, Kelly off of, um, um, what you call it, uh, Destiny's Child. I'm like, I'm going to get famous just so I can date her. I don't even want the fame. I don't want to date her. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But we don't have to. We don't have to go through that thing because now we ought to. I mean, those that are we, those of us that are married, whatever. Hey, you, my wife is my prized possession. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. See, my wife asked me for something. I'm doing it point blank. I'ma find a way. I'ma find a way. 
Amen? But I can't lie. The whole point of that was don't lie to yourself and be like, oh, they in the church. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But that don't mean that you got to go get with them. Amen? But we got to continually resist these urges. Joseph had urges just like any other young man. Just like any other young man. We be acting like these people in the Bible ain't real. They real. They real people. They had desires and lust. Man, come on. You don't have to follow through. Never mind. You don't have to follow through. Amen. Amen. 12 verse says, she called him by his garment. We almost out of here. Ah. And she caught him by his garment, saying, lie with me. Now she's become real aggressive. She's just not talking no more. Now she's trying to latch on. Right. That stuff that wants you to be perverted, it's going to latch on to you. That thing that wants to pervert your gifting, it's going to latch on to you. And it's going to grab something that belongs to you. God, it's going to, be, it's going to grab something that belongs to you. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Somebody say, run for your life. John, can I get you real quick, man? Can I get you real quick? Drew, can I get you on drum real quick? Can we do something just a little bit outlandish? Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So the thing is that when this thing that wants you becomes aggressive, it's going to try and latch on to you. See, the thing about it is sometimes the stuff in the old church, we done forgot about. Because that was then and this is now. We in the meantime. In the meantime, we still need what they had. And more of it. So the old saints... Wrote a song about. They wrote a song about it. Y'all want to hear it? Here you go. I'm running for my life. <laughs> Come on, John. Mother, I got this one. <laughs> For my life, I'm running for my life. 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 Oh yeah. If anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Oh yeah. Tell them that I'll say sanctified. Holy Ghost, be fire baptized. Tell them I got Jesus on my mind, and I'm running for my life. Running for my life. I'm running for my life. Running for my life. I'm running for my life. Oh, yeah. Running for my life. If anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Tell them that I'll say, sanctify, Holy Ghost, be my baptized. Tell them I got Jesus on my side, and I'm running for my life. Okay. Now, 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 I believe that uh, that Joseph might have had a remix to that. His might have went like this. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. Oh, yeah. It is 
somebody else. Y'all let me get this. What's the matter with me? My Lord, tell them that I'm safe, sanctified. Part of a wife was just too fine, so I ran for my life. Potiphar's wife was just too fine. So I ran for my life. <laughs> I didn't have my garment or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. I ran for my life. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't have my garment or nothing, Jesus. I, I just, I smell, I smell smoke and I just, I just, that's, oh Lord Jesus, that's a fire. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. I ain't grabbed my garment or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. You better run for your life. You better run. Somebody say run. run. We try and be so deep with stuff, church. We try and be so deep with stuff. Don't carry concern about personal effects, but rather avoid the effect on a person. Don't carry concern. I know y'all writing that one down. Don't carry concern about personal effects, but rather avoid the effect on the person. Give no opportunity, the Bible says, give no place. Give no opportunity to the devil. Because if you give opportunity to the devil, then he can work and he can elevate. Uh, Y'all didn't receive that one. Y'all didn't like that one. If you give place to the devil, if you give opportunity to the devil, now he's got an opportunity to elevate. You got an opportunity to elevate when, somebody, when you were working, right? Oh, he got an opportunity to elevate when he working too. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? We must flee fornication and immorality of any sort. Just don't run a way. Run his way. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read this. We're almost done. Sometimes we are not in possession of the proper interval Necessary to formulate an intricate stratagem that would allow us removal from a possible state of affairs that would permit us both explanation and resolution. Sometimes ain't nobody got time for that. Run. Because we try and act like we so deep. And we got to come up with all these profound statements. I stood my ground and I did not. I did not waver and I did not give in to the run. When we run, we're not running out of fear. We're running out of reverence. Because we understand that if we do something to disrespect the Father, I got to go back to that. That he don't even have to say nothing to us. We're going to already know we done messed up. Amen. Now I do anything not to be in grief to my Father. So rather than sit up there and try and be all theological, try and be all with my doctorate and my in-depthness, and I'm so studious and, and I done cast out demons, not this one. Oh, there's a demon that's better than you. Well, that's one of them jokers, yeah, whatever. You better get somebody there with you. Because, see, some of us are powerful, and we can, we can have somebody that might have had one, and we can cast out a demon. Demon go running out the door and be done. And then we'll go home. Part of a wife is like, come lie with me. It wasn't me. I, I didn't, you know, we all fought. Really? You just casted out a devil like last service. All these big-time preachers and stuff fall into the same thing. Same thing. To the same thing. You know why? Amen. Just as powerful as love is, lust is powerful too. Amen. 
Lust will drive you into a frenzy. Lust will get you. If you don't run, it will latch on to you. It'll start grabbing your personal effects, but you be like, like, nope, I got to get up. I don't care if you run out of that hotel butt naked. Get out. Now, we don't wear tearaway clothes in this dispensation, so if you butt naked, you went a little bit too far anyway. I'm just saying. But even if you get that far, there's still, you know, because it's, hmm, I'm trying to end this, but there's a process. There's a process. You didn't just slip, oops. It don't happen, oops. I, 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 didn't, I don't know how we got here. You know exactly how you got there. You took, we, I would talk about the male perspective. You took her to dinner. You weren't saved. So you made sure that you got that nice glass of wine. You knew that she was okay at two. And she might have been able to give you some resistance, but you made sure you had, she had number three, four, five, and seven, because seven is the number of completions. And now she completely out of her mind. And all her guard is down. And all your guard is up. Don't take that too far. But all your guard is up. And so now, you done got to the room, and you know you done played Barry, Barry White and Barry everybody, Barry, Barry, Barry everybody else. You got it playing nice and smooth in the car. Yeah, girl. And she really wasn't that attracted to you. But them spirits made you look real good. Oh, y'all think that this can only happen in, on the wicked side. What? What? So now the spirit done got, and now you looking real good. You looking real good. And now, you don't, because you know you got a wife at home, so you can't go home. Well, some of these jokers bold enough to go home. But you ain't even got a wife. You got a wife at home taking care of your three children. But you make sure, so you make sure you go to the other side of town. You live on the west side. You go to the east side hotel. Hotel. Tell. And that hotel gonna tell on you. That hoe gonna tell on you. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so now you done got the keys to the hotel. And you done got in the room. And now everything that's done, y'all, y'all all hot, you all hot and bothered because you had this on your mind from get-go, really. Because you really planned this thing out. And then we'd be like, it just happened. No, you was planning. Whatever, whatever with your right, whatever with our righteous self. I was planning. I was trying to execute a plan. You don't think that the enemy is just as divisive? If not more, I got you all twisted. You all caught up in your mind, and now you allowed me to have intercourse. And now that you've entered this course, your course is going to change. The two shall become one. It's a principle. It's a principle. It's a principle. Some of us be wondering why we got so much stuff up in us. Well, that's because we don't have so much stuff up in us. Oh. I'm sorry. I was supposed to be doing it in the meantime, right? In, in the meantime. In, in the meantime. And now we mad at the other person. Now that one night stand has left seed it's left a seed one way or another she ain't got to be pregnant for there to be a seed there bro just cause you got in don't mean that she ain't get into you either 
I'm getting a little bit, it's getting hot up here. It's, I have a line that I like in one of the, the trash. You know, a dance with the devil take two to tango. Hey, y'all. How did I end up here? How did I end up here? You didn't run. And you were so deep. You were so deep. You can outspeak everybody. You can out-prophesy everybody. You can out-sing everybody. Hmm? You can out-dance everybody. You can out-pray everybody. But couldn't pray your way out. Couldn't preach your way out. Couldn't dance your way out. These gifts and these calls are not for us, they're for others. But they're not to be polluted. They're not to be polluted. They're not for perversion's sake. Amen? Amen. So because now God has begun to show you prosperity, and now because the blessings of the Lord are upon your life, and you're blessed in the city, and you're blessed in the field. You're blessed when you come. You're blessed when you go. Now things are going to become attached to you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Now you're going to become more attractive to the enemy. Yeah. You're more attractive to the enemy now. Because he wants your position. Yes, he, does. he wants your position. He wants you. Don't give in. Get out alive. Get out alive. Do the righteous thing. Do the righteous thing. Stop plotting and then wondering why you in what you had already wrote out in your mind. You wrote the plot. Why are you surprised at the end of the story? In the meantime, let your work release you into opportunity. Your righteous works, let's get it right. Yes, your righteous work, baby. Let your good work release you into that opportunity that God wants to put you in. Right. Joseph was in, he was a common servant before he was elevated to an overseer. So he was great where he was. God can get greatness out of you wherever you are as long as you're in him. And understand that as you begin to get elevated, things are going to try and attach themselves to you. And when you feel that attachment, deny, 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 deny. And if it take it, run. 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 Even if it's going to put you in a prison. Oh, we ain't nowhere near done. But I ran, Pastor. I ran. I got out of that situation. I heard the word. And I felt them coming for me. I felt it attaching to me. I knew that I shouldn't have took the steps to even get there because if I wouldn't have been dating, then I wouldn't have been putting that. I knew not to go to the crack house in the first place. I just got delivered from addiction. But I went over there telling my son, I was going to preach to the people. You just got delivered yesterday. Now, take look, be easy. Be easy. Because now it's done. Now that, now that thing wafting up in your nose, you, are, you done got a contact high. But that contact wasn't enough for you. It wasn't enough for you to smell the doja. I'm sorry. It wasn't enough for you to smell it. Just let me get a little taste. I'm going to say this and I'm going to be finished. Look, if <laughs> Father help me. Um, I'm going to be delicate with that one. If they find it on you, chances are. If they find it on you, that's all I can say. If they find it on you, chances are you have or you were going to. What are they finding on you? What are they finding on us? What is it emitting from our, 
from this? Is it prosperity and blessings from God? Or is it arrogance and thinking that we can't be touched? Arrogance thinking that I can't be brought down. In the meantime, you better run. I don't care how deep you is. Talk something, you're going you gonna to lay hands and deliver. No. You're going to lay hands and be delivering a baby. That you don't even want to take care of. Because that wasn't the one you were supposed to be with in the first place. Just once. I know, I know some folk. Amen. Just once. Amen. Had never even, never even never done nothing like this before in their life. Just once. Right. And now this is a lifetime thing. Right. People of God, don't be ashamed to run. Don't be so proud not to run. We're finished. Come on, give God praise in this place.